Boop. This is turning into a horror movie. Every minute, another one disappears. <sighs> well, you're all still here then. At least I've got one day to work out what to do before the warbles come back. Can you imagine what they say if they walk through the door right now? <laughs> home by the police. Do you realise the shame that you brought on this family? Do you know what your father's name is? John. Your father's name is Mud. John Mud? Those people that you cheated hold him in contempt. He's a broken man. Hello. Aren't you? What? A broken man. Oh yes. Because his son is a cheat, a liar and a crook. It's all in a good cause. No one complains when other people do things in a good cause. Bob Geldof does things in a good cause. You say you ought to be made a saint. But when I do things in a good cause, I get told off. Bob Geldof does not fill up other people's houses with boa constrictors and piranha fish. There was only one piranha fish. It ate up all those other people's pets. It only ate one goldfish. I don't see what all this fuss is about. No one gets annoyed when we eat fish. It was Mrs. Walpole's pet goldfish. Had a name called Robin. So, if I call a piece of fried cod Fred, does that mean I can't eat it? What about that boa constrictor eating up all those pet mice? And the chicken that ran away? He needed the exercise. Well, I have had it up to here with you. You tell him. Tell him what? He is getting no more pocket money till all those people who lost their pets have been paid back. No more pocket money. And there's the compensation to Mr. and Mrs. Warple for the damage to their house. You tell him that. Right. No more pocket money. Till everyone gets paid. Right. So there. Normally he keeps the answers in the left hand drawer. How much are we selling them for? Five pence for ten answers, and I'm going to need it. They've stopped your pocket money, have they? Yes, honestly. Just because I try to help a few people out, this is what I get. How long for? They reckon until everyone's been paid back. The measly amount of pocket money they give me anyway. It'll be the middle of next century. Anyway, I've got a plan. I think you ought to be careful with your plan. The last few all went wrong. Only because of unforeseen circumstances. This one cannot fail. <laughs> Why? What are you going to do? I'm going to be nice to them. Starting with giving Dad a birthday present this evening. Is it his birthday today? <laughs> no, not for another six months. But I can't wait that long before I get my pocket money again. Mummy's going to be the tough one, though. Get us something for a hobby. Which one? Motorbike mechanics, boot making, you name it, she does it. The latest one's martial arts. Get us something for that. No, I've got it. What? I'll get us some flowers. What do you mean? Tee. Kuzuri! These are for you. Oh, they're beautiful. They're just like the ones growing in Mrs. Thompson's garden. What's all this in aid of? Because you are the best mother in the world and because I've been so rotten to you. Happy birthday, Dad. But it's... Well, it's not his birthday. Well, it's just to say sorry for missing the last one. And I promise not to miss them in the future. Why, it's... An ionized axe head. It's very rare. Why, it's beautiful. Thank you, Sam. It's very hard to find the perfect present for the perfect father. Right, I'm going to do the washing up now. The washing up? Yes. It's about time I started helping around the house. I've been so selfish for so long. Do you reckon he's poisoned these, so if I smell them, I'll keel over? I think it's a wonderful gesture. 
It shows a new side to him. There is no new side to him. There's just a rotten old one. He's up to something. I'll get that. Sit down. Don't disturb yourselves. Because of you, we went to jail for causing a disturbance. And assaulting the police. We came out of prison today. We have been thrown out of our order. The children of the flowers. Our lives have been ruined. And it's all your fault. We've come to take our revenge. I'm sorry, do I know you? Are you trying to pretend that you don't remember that terrible evening? The witchcraft? Oh, that! I'm sorry, I didn't realise. You were my twin brother. Your twin brother? Yes. He's caused us a lot of bother. If you wait here, I'll go and get him. I'll get him. I thought Brian had gone. How do you mean? Honey! Cut it! <laughs> talking about the slug. The slug? Yes, he's escaped from the detention centre and he's after you. What are you going to do now? The only thing I can do is try and persuade my mum and dad to move. So, there you are, boys. Oh, Mr Wiggis. <laughs> I assume you have forgotten that you're staying in at lunchtime? Uh, no, sir. I was just on my way to you, sir, when I thought I heard a noise from in here. Sort of hell. Help. Help. Get to the classroom. This is like looking for a needle in a haystack. We don't even have a clue where he'll be. No, but we've got his name. How will that help? Class registers. He'll be in here. Find the registers, then we'll know which class he's in. Uh, can I help you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Uh, this is the headmaster's office, is it? Yes, I'm the headmaster. How are you? Oh, good. Well, that sorted that out then. Oh! You must be the two supply teachers the officer sent in. Must we? Yes, we must. That's us. It's terrible, this bug. What bug? We don't have any insect sprays on us. No, no, this bug going round. Both Miss King and Mr Hastings are both off with it. Oh. Which of you is the domestic science teacher? He is. Uh, I am. Then you must be general science. No, I wasn't even in the army. Pardon? Uh, yes, he is. Good. Well, I'll go and get someone to show you where everything is, huh? Ah, oh, Mr. Wiggis. Haven't got a moment. Well, I'm just on my way. Ah, oh, Mr. Wiggis, these are the two supply teachers. They're looking after things for Miss King and Mr. Hastings. How do you do? 
Would you mind showing them where everything is? The staff room and the classrooms and so on? Certainly. They wouldn't mind coming along to my room first. I've got a child staying in and I want to keep an eye on him. Oh, who's that? Who else but that creature, Brian Boys? If you're busy, I could get another member uh, of No, staff. no, that's quite all right. We'd be very happy to go along with Mr. Wiggis, wouldn't we? Very happy. Very well. Let's wait. You must enjoy working here, Mr. Wiggis. Oh, this school isn't such a bad place. Have you done much teaching elsewhere? Yes. No. The kids are all right generally, except for this particular one. You have no idea what a complete danger to the human race this one small alleged child can be. Oh, we have. Anyway, I won't be a minute. I'll just see what he's up to. Well, boys, I trust you're learning your lesson. Get in! What's going on? Come back here! Excuse me, Headmaster, I don't want to worry you. What is it, Mr. Wiggins? Those two supply teachers you asked me to show to their rooms. Yes? They're chasing Brian boys around the school. What? Yes, I went to my room to make sure that he was still there, and they took one look at him, and then rushed to attack him. Oh, dear. Well, though he rouses strong feelings of hostility, and that seemed a bit sudden even by boys' standards. I wondered whether we ought to call the police. The police? Oh, well, we do have the reputation of the school today. One calls the police. Yes, what well, they looked like, they wanted to harm him. Come back here, you rotten swine! There they are. Hey, leave this to me, boys. We'll get you later. Oh, thank you, sir. Who are they, boys? You know them. Um... Whoever they were, I think we've seen the last of them. Well done, we guess. Anyway, where were we before all this began? Um. You're going to let me off staying in, sir. <laughs> Nonsense. Get back to that room. Yes, sir. Have you ever thought about moving? Moving? Yes. To a different area. If we sold this house, we could move somewhere a lot cheaper and get a really big house. Why do we want a really big house? Well, I think it would be good for Mum if she had more room for all the things she likes doing. I don't think it's fair that she doesn't have anywhere special for herself. Are you being funny? No. Hmm. I spoke to Mother today. How is she? I hear they're going to build a motorway at the end of our road. What? I thought you ought to know. The longer you leave it, the less you'll get for the house. I reckon we ought to move now. Will you shut up about moving. Why don't you try to be helpful? How is she? I don't know. I get the impression... Yes? I get the impression she'd like to come and stay with us for a bit. What? If we moved, I think we'd be a lot happier. Stay with us? Oh, she's lonely. She says she hardly has any company. Who? Oh, your gran. She says she's lonely. Oh, I can understand that. She's horrible. Now, if we moved, we wouldn't see so much of her. We are talking about my mother. Now, you say horrible things about her? No, I do not. Anyway, I'm allowed to. And we must make allowances for people when they get old. Now, don't forget, you'll be old yourself one day. Hey, I know. What? Why don't I keep a company for a few days? You? Yes. I could go away and stay with her for a few days. Help her around the house. Cheer her up. He hasn't got a temperature. She'll be ever so pleased to see me. Hello, Gran. What do you want? I'm here to keep you company for a few days. Why? I've been given a week off school. Not yet, you don't. Put your arms up. Mm. I still have forgotten you coming around here and putting marmalade in my slippers. Well, it's only three, then. Mm. And you haven't gotten any better as you've got older. All right, you can come in. Wipe your feet. Come here. You wanted to see me, Headmaster? Oh, yes. Come here. 
Sit down. <laughs> it's about boys. Any particular boys? Brian boys. Oh, that boys. Yeah. I see from your register that he's been absent for the last three days. Yes. Uh, do we know why? No, Headmaster. You see, officially, I should contact the Educational Welfare Officer, who would possibly call it his home. Right. And it's quite likely that he would insist that he came back to school. Yes, Headmaster. You wouldn't consider marking him present instead, would you? Certainly not. No, no. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I'm very glad. Such a thing will be most unethical. Also, we'll be found out. An inspector called and he wasn't here. Oh, yes. Uh, not that I'm uh, suggesting any such thing, you know. No, no, the, uh, the thought never entered my head. On the other hand, if he was ill, then the uh, educational welfare officer doesn't need to become involved. Then he can stay away for two weeks. <laughs> yes. Uh, don't we need to see a sickness note? Well, yes, but it could have been mislaid. Oh, yes. Is he ill? He could be. What with? Um, pain in the neck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that'll do nicely. Thank you, Mr. Wiggins. Oh. Here you are, Gren. About time, too. I thought you were mining it. Have you ever thought about getting a gas fire? Why? What's wrong with that one? Well, it's all of what accompanying this coal around. My arms have grown another metre since I've been here. Ah, you don't know the meaning of work. Why, when I was your age, I was up every morning at half past five. Why couldn't you sleep? To go to work. Oh. Six days a week, twelve hours a day for tuppence a day. And do you know what I would have got if I'd have complained? Four pence a day. The sack. Frankly, that sounds a better deal. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because I was one of the lucky ones. The lucky ones? What happened mm. to the unlucky ones? Did they boil them in oil? If you didn't work, you didn't eat, and we didn't have any shoes. Why? Did you eat them too? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude. I wasn't, I was just... Do you know what I would have got if I'd have answered back? How much did you pay for your coal? A smack round the head. That sounds too for that. <laughs> attack me. What? Get up and attack me. Why should I want to attack you? I want to see if this stuff works. Come on. No, you'll hurt me. No, I won't. Come on, get up. Well, put your paper down. Are you sure you won't hurt me? Of course I won't. No, I've seen this in films. They kick people. I won't hurt you. I wonder how Brian's getting on at your mother's. Don't change the subject. No, I mean it. Do you reckon he's all right? I bet he's having a wonderful time. She adores him. Uh, do you reckon he misses us? I spoke to Mum on the phone. He's too busy to miss us. Too busy? Doing what? Stop playing for time. Huh. Attack me. You promise you won't hurt me? I promise. Now. Oh, all right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. That works. Right, and now we'll have... I don't see how one person can have this much washing up. I've told all my friends you'll do their washing up too. What? I don't know why you're complaining. You said you wanted to help. I didn't want to help. I wanted to offer to help. I didn't think I'd be washing up every plate ever made in the history of plate making. You know your trouble. You're ungrateful. You should be pleased that I've put up with you these last few days. <gasps> oh. Mm. Put up with me? I've washed floors. I've carried coal. I've watched you eat, and now I'm doing the entire washing up for the universe. Mm. Child labour's against the law, you know. Don't be rude. I can still see some grease on that plate over there. Where? Looks all right to me. Germs have to eat too, you know. Wash it. <laughs> be careful. I don't want you breaking any of it. Don't worry. I haven't got the strength. Mummy's out. It's me, Bonetta. Wait a minute. Quick. What happened? 
My grand chucked me out. That's what happened. First time I've ever done someone a good turn in my life, and this is what happened. I want my fingers to the bone for her. They're asking questions about you at school. They're talking about sending a welfare officer around to find out why you've been off. You'd better come back. How can I come back? How can I go anywhere? With those two lunatics still after me? And they still haven't caught the slug. He was spotted just a couple of miles away, and there's a rumour going round that he's coming to get you. I thought you ought to know. When? How should I know? As soon as he gets here, I suppose. Anyway, I've got to go. If I hear any more, I'll let you know. Well, if that's the sort of news you bring, I don't want to know any more. Oh, life is so unfair. Oh, she must have heard something pretty quick. You're not getting away this time!